If you want to build beautiful pages for your WordPress website, Elementor is one of the best options out there. It allows you to create engaging pages without having to touch a single line of code. But let me show you another way to make your website even more engaging. And that's by adding an Instagram feed like this to your Elementor website. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that in just a matter of minutes. If you're ready, let's get started. To create our Instagram feeds for our Elementor website, we use the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you create beautiful and responsive Instagram feeds for your WordPress website in a matter of minutes. You can purchase Instagram Feed Pro from smashballoon.com. And once purchased inside your account, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin. Once you've downloaded the plugin, head over to your WordPress dashboard. Installing Instagram Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin. Head over to Plugins on the left-hand side and click on Add New. Next, go and click on Upload Plugin at the top. Then we can browse for the zip file we downloaded from smashballoon.com like this. And then click on Install Now. Once the plugin has been installed, we can go and click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, the plugin has now been installed. But before we go and start creating our Instagram feed for Elementor, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Instagram feed. Hover over it and click on Settings. Here, beside License Key, we can enter the License Key for Instagram Feed Pro like this. And then click on Activate. Great, our license is now active and we can begin creating our Instagram feed. To do this, on the left-hand side, under Instagram Feed, click on All Feeds. And then you can go and click on Add New at the top. And on this page, you can see that there are several different feed types you can create with Instagram Feed Pro. You can create a feed of posts from your user timeline. You can create a feed of posts from any public hashtag or feed of posts that you were tagged in. And if you want to create a feed of multiple feed types, you can select multiple options like this and add them to your feed. But for this video, let's go with the user timeline one like this. So once that's selected, you can go and click on Next. And now we have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Go and click on Add Source down here. On this page, first you have to select the account type. If your Instagram account is a personal account, you can proceed with this option. But if your account is a business account, you can click on this option and click on Login with Facebook. Once you've logged into Facebook, you can select the Instagram account you want to connect with Smash Balloon. I've got mine selected here like this, and I'm going to click on Next. Then you'll also have to select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account, like this. Once that's selected, you can go and click on Next. And on this page, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with your Facebook and Instagram accounts. All this is doing is allowing Smash Balloon to view the information it needs to display your feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes to your Instagram or Facebook accounts, so it's completely safe. So I recommend you leave all these options set as default and click on Done. There we go. Our account is now linked to Smash Bloom. You can now press OK here and you'll get one security prompt just before you continue. And it's asking us to confirm if we want to connect this domain to our Instagram account. We can go and press Yes, it is my domain and proceed. Awesome. And now you can see the accounts that we connected from Facebook and we can select the one we want to add to Smash Bloom. I'm going to select this one here and click on Add. And now we can select this here to display it on our feed. Select it like this and click on Next. On this page, you can select from several different templates for how you want your Instagram feed to look. You have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, simple row, and so much more down below. You can select any template you want, but for this video, let's go with the masonry cards option and go and click on next at the top. And there we go, the plugin now shows you a beautiful preview of your new Instagram feed. You can see that all the latest posts for our Instagram account are displayed right here in this beautiful masonry layout. Our feed is now ready to be embedded on our WordPress website. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this to really make it your own. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, if you go into Feed Layout, you find options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. Currently, we've got the masonry layout, as you can see here, which shows all your posts in their original sizes. Otherwise, you can go for the grid layout like this, which shows all your posts in a neatly organized rows and columns layout. Then we also have the carousel layout, which shows all your posts in a swipeable carousel like this. And lastly, we also have the highlights layout like this, which highlights one of your posts on your Instagram feed. You can choose the one you like the most, but let's proceed with the masonry layout for this video. And down below, we can also specify the number of posts we want to display on desktop and mobile. You can easily change it by typing in the number you want here. And just below that, we can specify the number of columns we want on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. To change these, you can just click on the drop down and select the number of columns you want like this. It's as easy as that. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go and click on Save on the top right corner. And if you want to adjust the color palette for your Instagram feed, you can go into Color Scheme on the left-hand side like this. Here, you'll notice that we're currently inheriting the colors from our theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme like this, a dark theme like this, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for the different areas of your Instagram feed. Select the one that best suits you and click on Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header area we see here, we can go into Header Settings on the left-hand side. Currently, we're using a standard header like this with our profile picture, Instagram handle, number of posts, and number of followers as well. 
It's even got a bio just below that. If you want to change that up, we can go for the box layout, which puts all that information inside this box you see here. Next, we have the centered layout, which has your header right in the middle of your Instagram feed at the top. And lastly, we have a simple text header like this, which you can customize. If you went with the standard header style down below, you can even choose to enable your stories. So if you have any Instagram stories active on your account, they will show up right here on your profile picture, just like they would on the app. So it's totally up to you. You can choose the header style that suits you the most and click on save on the top right corner. Lastly, at the bottom of our feed, you'll notice that we have a load more and a follow on Instagram call to action button. Both of these buttons are fully customizable as well. For example, if we go into the load more button on the left hand side, you can customize the button ticks and the button colors as well. And if you want to, you can choose to disable that button entirely as well. And remember, if you make any changes, go and click save on the top right corner. Right now that you know how to customize your Instagram feed, let's go and embed it onto our WordPress website inside Elementor. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner. And here you'll find a dedicated shortcode for your Instagram feed. You can copy it like this, and then you can go and click on add to a page. Next, you can select the page you want to add your Instagram feed to. Go and select your page like this and go and click on add. And this will take you into your page inside block editor. And all you have to do is click on edit with Elementor. And here we are inside Elementor and we are currently viewing our home page. If I scroll down here, we have a section for find us on Instagram. This is where I'm going to add my new Instagram feed. We give you two different options to embed your Instagram feed. The first option is by copying and pasting that short code into a short code block like this. Or you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And the one we want is right here. So we can simply drag it and drop it right here. And you can now see Instagram feed pro is popping up with a little menu here. What it's asking us to do is select the feed that we want to embed onto our page. So now we can go and click on this drop down and select that Instagram feed that we just created. Landscapes we love, that's the one here. And right away, Smash Balloon has loaded up that new Instagram feed that we just created right here inside Elementor. So now we can publish our page and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. All right, this is our live website now. And if I scroll down to check out our Instagram feed, it's right there on our live website, just as we've designed inside the plugin. You can see that we have our header here with Instagram profile picture, Instagram handle, number of posts, followers, and the bio as well. And it's showing all our latest posts inside the masonry layout that we chose. And if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, we'll find our load more button. If I click on that, it loads up even more posts inside our feed. And there we go. We've successfully created and embedded an Instagram feed inside Elementor. It's working perfectly and it's super responsive. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues with the plugin, please get in touch with our amazing support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.